Hello, June 4th, 2023. So it's Sunday, beginning of the next week, the first full week of June. And when I went to bed, went to bed last night, I had already started to go through my process of the things I'm going to throw away, donate, and keep. The things I'm keeping, there are a lot, but again, it's mainly necessities like soaps, like uh, my, my cables, electronics that I do need, I still use. Pens, papers, things like that, that I, I will utilize. I can still continue to use. The smaller things I'm letting go, there's some emotion attached to those things still, but I know they'll serve better places and people. I want to donate things. As I've been trying to contact geeks and gamers and let them know, hey, I have a, I have a huge monitor. I've got a, a standing desk, brand new. You know, just under two years old. I've used these things, but I need to be strategically mobile. I need to be ready to go at a moment's notice, and that's why I have, like, I have my bag right here. My bag with, I have my Leatherman, I have my knife, I have everything here, my information. That's why I have the computer I have right now, because, again, it's security safe. The other computer I have, you know, if I do branch off and do other things, which I want to do in the future, because there's still a lot I want to do. But right now, as I've said from the very beginning of the year, especially since mid-February, early March, my goal right now is all about health and wellness. It's been about that. Because again, in order to do things I want to do, I want to hunt fish. I want to take care of the land. I want to have an ecosystem where I can, you know, foster the land I'm on, make it conducive for wildlife, and utilize it where I can be in balance with the land, because that's what's important. In order to do that, I need to find a location. And it's funny that, you know, I was thinking about Lake of the Oaks Arks, because again, the, the river, going, doing that, but then Iowa's now coming to face to face because that will be the place I'll probably end up going in August. Who knows what will happen, but I got to continue to heal. And last night when I slept, my legs are giving me problems in the, for during the night, but minor problems. It was just tight muscles. So I just massage them out and they're feeling fine. And the heart rate and every, every vital is still in the, in, in the, in the green. 100% in the green, doing really, really well, and I'm very, very happy that where I am right now and how I am doing. You know, readiness was very, very good. 84 last night. Heart rate at 56. 56 beats a minute for my heart rate. That's insane. I'm still 400. Today was 416. 416.2. But again, 410 and, and, and being at that weight and having this good heart rate, it's incredible. Because again, my entire body, I haven't been very, very healthy my entire life. This myasthenia gravis that I have, the neuron, the, 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 the nerve damage, I say it's from just the environment, the toxic environment, toxic people, toxic everything. And I'm just trying to stay calm. I need to continue to do calm. And then I will do that. As many of you know, I got my Twitter account back after t two years of being banned. It's done, and I've went and subscribed for Twitter Blue. Hopefully, I get more, put more out there on my main my main channel. Because again, I am not going to back down from what is true and reality. And I need to face the reality too that I will find a job. It'll be remote, probably. If not, then then tell me where to go. That's what I'm saying. Hire. And I had the two interviews, like I said on Friday. One was with Disney. Okay, whatever. Because I need work, and I can again. I need to, and I, I'm going to work, and I'm going to want to just. Be, I, I need to need even go down even smaller, and that's why I want to be more of a digital nomad even now, and then save the money because a rainy day happens. I do not want to be sick anymore, and I don't feel sick at all right now. I feel very very good. I still have trouble going down the stairs and walking, but that is just because the muscle tightness. And as, as I lose weight, and as these tumors shrink, things will get better. And that's all I'm focused on right now. Focused on reducing these tumors, reducing the weight in turn, and, re and, and keeping positive of what I need to do. And I 
I resurrected these glasses. These glasses, I bought these with the other ones. That when I, this is all about Vegas. I got new, I couldn't see really well. So I got these, I got these in Vegas of 21, no 20, 20 21, Jesus. It's already been two years old. I need to get new frames or new glasses. This one's broken. I actually glued it back together with super glue. What am I gonna do? But I just, I, cause again, I don't wanna wear my good glasses all the time. So I wear these ones, it's fine. This is just meant to, this is meant to be the workout exercise glasses and of course the next frames i get because i can get my eyes checked again pretty soon i want to know where my vision is because i still have vision issues and i'm going to figure that out and i might i say that continuing the cranial adjustment continu continuing the hip adjustment the foot adjustment are going to work the new thing of course not new but again as I reduce my weight, as these tumors go, the more pervasive tumors will show up and cause issues. Like the one right now in the gut, the one, I'm a, I'm a boba tea. Think of that, I really am a boba tea in the, in the, in the gut area, or not the gut, but this, this thing that's hanging over these tumors. They're just fatty tumors and they're engorged with lipids and they could go cancerous, but I'm not letting it happen. I'm, I don't want it to happen. And I'm doing everything I can to make it not happen because that's what I'm going to do. Continue to work on me. So in the process of putting things away, getting rid of them, it was nostalgic in a way. And it, just, it reminds me of the things that I've lost and what's really important or the things I do not want to see anymore. I do not have a photo of my wife. I do not have a photo of anybody that I've loved anymore that's readily available. I put those aside. I actually deleted them, the vast majority. I do not have a photo anymore anywhere. I don't want to see anything. I don't want it to pop up like a bad penny and bring, not bring sadness, but bring back the past. I'm done with the past. I'm ready to move on. Layla Hart, Layla Hart mentioned about 40 being middle-aged, not 50, because, again, most people die when they're 80, 90, or whatever. My mother passed away at 72. Like I said, my father, 80. I couldn't believe that. And, my, my, and then my, my grandmother, 86. My grandfather, 89. My great-grandmother, 104. So it's like, you know what? Proof that the freaking, or the fucking world we live in is toxic. So I'm just done with that shit. I don't want to deal with them. It's stupid. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But the thing is that as I'm letting go of these things, I want to still continue to let go more. I have to be on a war footing. I have to know what is strategically advantage for me. And that was the whole point of it. I wanted to be able to have a bug out bag and I still have to consider a bug out bag or a bug out bags. This is my life. It's everything I have. And what is that bag that, this is everything. I'm ready to go, boom, I'm done. One bag or two, whatever. But right now it's turning out to be enough to fill one car and I need to let go of things. So that's why I'm selling or giving away now, basically these desks. I have a two desk cabinet and my chair. I mean, right now, just don't need it anymore. I'm gonna have a few lights that I have just for lighting with procedures, the camera, computer, and then whatever I get, it will be just to replace or to fix up what I need in my life. That's what I need to do. But last night was difficult in the sense that, yeah, I'm letting go of these things, throwing things away, and I still need to do that today. And then tomorrow is a big, you know, purging because Tuesday night is the trash day letting go. So that's what I'm going to do. Everything is going toward that. But um, if you can help, help below, please. I'm just still, you know, in the process of looking for work. I had the two interviews I had on Friday, two more follow-ups for Monday, and then I could continue to look for work. And then if I find something, if it's remote, then I can go anywhere. Is Iowa, Iowa is going to be the place that I will probably end up for healing. But it's not the place I want to live unless something happens, unless there's something new out there. Because again, my criteria are fertile land that I can use and I can farm on. I can go hunting and fishing. And that corridor of Iowa and Missouri, especially like Missouri, middle Missouri, like Lake Vogue area, 
who knows? I just want to basically get an area where I can explore and do stuff. Hike, travel, find good land, hunt, have, an, have, be, have be armed, carry a gun. You know, just, just no, being normal. Normal stuff and living life. If I want to eat, I go outside, I get some food. Have the chickens, have whatever. Just have what I need to live and just be happy. And then, of course, there's some times that I wish that someone was the long journey with me. And if that happens, it happens. But again, I don't need anybody in my life. I would like to have somebody in my life. It's a big difference. But I know that the future holds possibilities. And I don't know what those possibilities are. But I hope that the possibilities are going to be good. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going to have... Ha that half a this is a sandwich from Friday. I bought this sandwich on Friday, and I ate half of it yesterday, and today's Sunday. So yeah, this is from Friday, and I didn't refrigerate the damn thing. You don't refrigerate it. Leave it. Let it. Let it. Let it seep in. Let it soak up the juices. That's what I do. I don't know. I'm a crazy guy, but that's what I do. You know. That's why I'm not sick. Is I don't. I don't sanitize anything. Because that's stupid. Anyway. But guys, just um, keep you in, keep in your prayers and stuff. I'm just going to, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm still looking, like I said, looking looking for work. Continuing to heal. I feel optimistic with the future, of course. And I still, still have a, there's a lot I want to do. I want to write and do stuff. But I want to live a life. In order, in order to do everything that I want to do, I have to lose this weight. I have to get, decrease these tumors. Because if I don't do that, then nothing happens. I will, and again, I, I stay trapped in, my, trapped in the house. I haven't really done a video outside because, again, I have to take care of things in the car still. I have gas now. If I need to go and do anything, I can. But right now, there's no desire to do anything. My desire right now is to remove all the stuff sell what I need to sell, and then be gone and go where I need to go. And that's when, where is that? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know where I will be. I know where I have to go. I need to, again, right now, it's about healing. And healing is all important. And again, it's working. To be over 600 pounds, 650, and to drop down to the 560s, 550s, 440s, Next big goal is 3:30s. You know, I'm just saying. So it's, it's a big, it's a big achievement. But again, it's an achievement based upon the principle of, if you cut your finger, and you clean it off, and you bandage it up, the body wants to heal. The body always wants to heal, and I'm doing, I'm helping the body along. It's a symbiotic relationship between me, my body, and my entire existence. I'm doing it. I'm going to continue to do it and make it happen. Body, mind, and soul healing. And I'm going to continue to do that. But again, the other side is I want to have fun. I want to enjoy life. And what is fun for me? Listening to music, playing my horn. I want to continue to play the horn. I want to write. I want to draw. I want to do stuff. I want to have, have fun. But again, I can't do these things until I find a job, heal up still, and let go of the things that do not serve me in my life anymore. And that's the whole thing. It's letting go of all the negative. The fat, the tumors are negative. The toxic life that doesn't serve me is negative. The toxic world that doesn't serve me is negative. What brings me joy right now? I'm sitting back and watching an old movie, listening to some music, doing a video, watching Friday Night Tights, watching streams, laughing, listening to jokes, listening to Chrissy Mayer, and, you know, laughing at her. And just, you know, laughing at the world, in a way, but from a good perspective. Not in, in short and froda, but in good humor, having fun again. And that's why I was really looking forward to, you know, still do, of, you know, going to Missouri area, Lake of the Oaks Arks. Because again, I'm looking at land, hiking, quiet, serene, peaceful, and that's what I want. 
you know, if, if I was Iowa, I was Iowa. Because again, I was just, someone reminded me about Field of Dreams. And that's an, an important thing in a way, Field of Dreams. What is my Field of Dreams? What do I really want? My father loved sports. I didn't care for it unless I played sports. I don't like watching anything. I like doing it. It's, I say the same thing. It's like, I don't want to watch porn. I want to have sex and make love to a woman. Very big difference. I want to be have that intimacy. I don't want to watch it. What's the point? I don't want to watch. I want to do. And that's the whole idea. Like, I don't want to teach. I want to do. I want to experience these things. And that's what's all I all about. So I'm going to continue to do that. So anyway, guys, just wanted to thank you very much. If you can donate, please donate below. Talk to you soon. Take care.